Santiago, the 11th of September, 1973. A coup by the country's military is in full swing, orchestrated by General Augusto Pinochet and backed by the CIA. The general demanded the country's democratically elected leader, Salvador Allende, resign. When he refused, the presidential palace was bombed. Mr Allende died there, but he wasn't the only victim that day. Thousands of people were rounded up and taken to a stadium in the capital, where many were tortured and murdered. Among them was the singer and songwriter Victor Jara. The 38-year-old's left-leaning lyrics were well known, and they were enough to get him arrested on the day of the coup. Days later, his body was found in a street. He'd been shot 44 times, and the signs of torture to his body included the crushing of bones in his hand. Now, though, his family are hoping that justice might be done. A judge has ordered the arrest of eight former army officers. After bringing together many elements, there comes a time when one must end the investigation and try to move towards a resolution. An international arrest warrant has been issued for one of the suspects who now lives in the United States. Chile's 17-year period of military rule is still a sensitive issue in the country, with accusations that many victims have never received justice. It is historical for this country when people like Victor Jara and additionally all the other victims of the dictatorship can have this possibility that a judge can reach this level of process and pinpoint the responsibility of the army officials. Mr. Hara's body was exhumed in 2009 to try to find evidence of his murder. He was later reburied. Thousands turned out to pay their respects. Bill Hayton, BBC News.